I'm Anthony Drizzis, and joining me this morning for the opening bell on the New York Stock Exchange trading floor is the Preservation Resource Center of New Orleans. Patty Gay, it's a pleasure to see you again. We are thrilled to be here in New York at the Stock Exchange. So, Patty, tell me, what is the role of the historic preservation in recovery from the disaster? It's absolutely critical. I mean, if you just think of the basics of your home as being the biggest investment that you've ever made in your life, we're there to help people uh, preserve their home for um, future. And Chelsea, tell me, what is Rebuilding New York doing at this point? Rebuilding Together New York City is working with homeowners in whatever way they need, whether it be restoring heat and hot water, installing sheetrock, and really doing assessments to understand how best we're needed in our communities. What would you say are some historical buildings that have been damaged by Hurricane Sandy? Well, probably, um, if you look at Ellis Island, Ellis Island is really a disaster at the moment. The, the buildings are okay, but the systems were really damaged, and there was some flooding out there. So I think it's going to be quite a while before we get Ellis Island back again. And if you look at historic areas like the South Street Seaport and some areas of Dumbo, but the historic buildings actually fared pretty well because they're built so well. It's the, it's the systems within them, the boilers, the, the electrical systems that really were damaged. But older buildings really stood up pretty well in this storm. And what has the New York Landmarks Conservancy been able to, you know, help with the damages in rebuilding? We, we do loan and grant programs constantly, and we've been giving out emergency grants ever since Sandy. We've helped various museums and nonprofits. Uh, we've helped various religious institutions with all kinds of damage from the storm. And John, tell me, what are some of the status of the affected areas in Staten Island? Well, um, we're right now at the stage where we really need the uh, rebuilding assistance that you heard about earlier. Uh, we've gone through the first uh, two phases, which are you know the safety phase, um, and two is the cleanup phase. And now we're at that point where we actually need to decide, well, how are we going to act to bring these buildings back, bring the community back? Um, how are we going to get people back in their homes? And how are we going to take care of them in the long run? What are some of the things that some communities can do to help prepare for some of these damages? Well, I think the... Um, uh, one of the pieces that was missing when in this particular situation was communication. Um, we had uh, folks who didn't really understand what the um, potential risk was, and people and people died as a result of that. And I think we um, can uh, both as a preservation community, which was very well prepared for this, as well as a community in general, uh, be um, much more knowledgeable about um, uh, how to communicate with one another um, effectively, how to convince people um, how dangerous the situation is.